With InVideo AI, you can generate a complete video with a script, voiceover, and video footage, all from just one prompt. If I tell it to make a video about why Brazil is so good at football, I just click Generate, and it will make an entire video for me. In this full step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how you can turn any idea into a full video with just one prompt, how to then change the generated video to your liking, how to then clone your voice, your very own voice, so that you can make videos about anything you want, even if you don't know that much about the topic, and this also means that you never have to do a voiceover yourself ever again. And then once all of that is done, how you can download the video in full HD so that you can upload it and get millions of views on your channel, just like this channel right here. This channel is getting 2.6 million views every single month, and the videos that this channel is uploading can easily be made with NVIDIA AI. Let me show you how. All right, in order to get started with NVIDIA AI, you do need an account. I will leave a link for you in the description down below that allows you to sign up for free so that you can follow along this tutorial. Once you've signed up for your account, you'll land right here. This is where you can insert the prompt, so basically where you can tell it what video to make so that when you then click on generate a video, it will make that entire video for you. To demonstrate that InVideo AI can make great videos, I'm gonna recreate a popular video from this channel and then compare the quality at the end of this video. So I found this video about the coldest cities to live in America, which has 183,000 views. So I also wanna make a video about this topic. So what I then need to do is tell it what to do. So I'm gonna say, please make a, and then I wanna in insert the duration that the video should be. It is very important that when you're doing this, you're as detailed as possible so that the video comes out just the way you want. And this will also leave less manual work in terms of the editing that you need to apply to the video. So I'm gonna say, please make a 10 minute video about, and then I'm gonna insert a topic. So here's where you're gonna tell it what the video should be about, which in my case is the coldest cities to live in America. There we go. Next up, because I wanna make it so specific, I'm gonna include creative directions. So as for the creative directions, I have just said include the cities, mention how cold it is, mention the coldest temperature ever recorded, and what life is like over there. I then also asked ChatGPT the 10 coldest cities, so to make sure that the information is accurate, I'm gonna copy these 10 cities and tell NVIDIA AI to include these 10. I'm then gonna paste it, and there we go. All that's left for me now is telling it which voiceover to use, which can actually be my own clone voiceover, but more about that later, as well as the background music to use, as well as the style of the video. So I'm gonna say, use Yuri's voice. This way it's gonna apply my own clone voice to the video, use relaxing background music, and use a professional video style. And there we go, that is what our prompt now looks like. So it's gonna create a 10 minute video about the coldest cities to live in the USA. So we told it which cities those should be, what they should include in terms of information in the video, as well as the voiceover to use, the background music, as well as the video style. So we're all set. Once you've done that, once again, make sure it's very detailed. You wanna click on generate a video. What NVIDIA AI is now gonna do is gonna analyze the prompt that you gave it. That might take a few minutes, depending on how long that prompt was, but as soon as that is done, you can go on to generate your video. All right, that is done. Next up, they're gonna ask you who you want to make the video for. Now, this is really important because the filters that you apply right here will decide how your video turns out and whether it will attract your target audience. So the first label is audience. Who is this for? Is it for travel enthusiasts? Is it for climate researchers or the general public? In this case, I'm gonna go with general public as it's not really meant to travel to these places. It's just to be informational about these places. It's definitely not about climate research. So I'm gonna go with general public. As for the look and feel, I already told it to be professional. So I'm gonna keep this right here. And then the platform is in the YouTube, but you could also go with Facebook or LinkedIn in case you make content for those platforms. Once that is done, I'm gonna click continue and there we go. What it's now gonna do is actually generate the video. So it's gonna work on the script, it's gonna work on finding video footage, as well as applying the voiceover, and then your entire video is done, or at least the first draft. Once again, this can take a few minutes depending on how long your prompt and video is. So I'll get back to you once this is done. And it is done. So it is the first result. From here, we can customize the entire video. But first of all, let me preview what it looks like as of right now. Imagine a place so cold that your breath turns to ice crystals as soon as it leaves your mouth. Today, we're exploring the coldest cities in the United States. 
These frost-bitten corners of the country are not for the faint of heart, where the mercury dips well below freezing and winter feels like an eternal guest. And there we go. So that is what the video currently looks like. As you can see, that is my clone voiceover, but I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. But first of all, I want to show you how you can customize anything in a video that you don't like. So how you can change clips, as well as the script, as well as the text that shows up on the screen. There's actually two different ways to do so. One of which is by using the command box, which is basically once again, prompt to them video, but then in this case, it is editing your video with a prompt. So let's say that I don't like the first clip, the opening clip of this video. I can simply tell it how to change it in this box. So I can say change the opening clip to a place with snow. And then if I click generate right here, it will actually implement that and change the opening clip to a place with snow, which makes it extremely easy to edit videos and get videos done with NVIDIA AI, even if you've never done anything like this before. And as you can see, we now have snow up on these trees right here. And then if I click play, imagine a place so cold that your breath turns to ice crystals as soon as you can see the opening clip is now this. And you can do that with everything, with any scene throughout the entire video, as well as the voice over as well as the script. So always keep in mind that if you want to change something the easy way, you can simply tell it what to change in this command box right here, click generate and it will do so. So that right there is already beautiful to see. But in case you want to do this manually, it is also possible. You'll find the edit button right here. If you click on edit, first of all, this will show up. It's a quick pop up where you can see the video script as well as the video footage throughout the entire video. So this right here is scene number one. And then I can click on the arrow on the right hand side to simply scroll through the videos. And these are all of the clips that appear in my video. Now, if I want to change any of these videos right here, all I would need to do is select it. So for example, select this one, simply click on it. And then on the right hand side, you can choose to either change that for stock footage, or you can change it for your own media. So if you've got files on your local device, you can click upload media and then select it from there. But of course, they've also got stock footage, which is exactly what I'm gonna change it to for this one. So if I once again want a clip with snow, I can simply search for snow, click enter, and then all these clips that are about to show up right here, are stock footage clips that are relevant to what you search for that you can use in your videos without any problems. So InVideo uses stock footage from platforms like iStock as well as Storyblocks, which are high quality video sources, making sure that your videos turn out the best way possible. Now what is great is that if you've got an InVideo AI subscription, all of these stock footage clips come with it. Whereas if you were to pay for them individually, it would already set you back even more money than an NVIDIA AI subscription. So that right there is a win-win situation. So I can now scroll through here and simply find a clip that I like. For example, this clip right here, I can then select this by clicking on replace and then click apply changes. And then what it's gonna do is once again, change that clip to the one that I selected. And as you can see, that clip is now to be seen in our video. Now let's say that for the clip that I just inserted, it kind of goes on for too long. What you can do is click on the three dots right here, so this is only for the selected scene. Click on the three dots right there. And you can change the ideal duration of that video. Let's say that I wanna make that five seconds. I can click on five. And then as you can see, I can now click right here, then click apply changes. And then once again, it will apply that to our video and make it a bit shorter. You can do that for all the scenes throughout your entire video. All right, so that is it for the media. So you can go for your entire video, any clip you don't like, you can change it yourself by either telling it to what to change it to. You can upload media, you can use stock footage, as well as even use ChatGPT to do this. So a few times, as you can see right here, I generated these images with ChatGPT. I downloaded them and then I uploaded them through the media button. But that's it for the media, all clear right there. What about the script? Because the script is also automatically generated by NVIDIA AI. So chances are there's a few small things that you don't like and you wanna change. And there's once again, two ways to do it. One of which is through the command box. So let's say that I wanna have a joke in the intro. I can say include a joke in the intro, then click generate. And then once again, what it's gonna do, you get it by now, is gonna change the video, which in this case is gonna add a joke to the script in our video. And there we go. It just included a joke in the intro. To check that, I can go to edit and then click on edit script. And this is also where you can change anything in the script. 
But as you can see, it now starts off the video by saying, imagine a place so cold, even the polar bears are seen sporting jackets. So as you can see right there, that is the joke that they've included and they changed the script because I told it to. So that's one way to change it. The other way is by simply doing it yourself throughout here. So what you can do, you can select any part of the script that either you wanna change, you don't like, you wanna remove, whatever it is, right? Let's say that I wanna now remove the joke again. I can now simply select this, so I will do this, and then I click backspace, and there we go, that is now gone. But I can also change or add anything I want. For example, I can simply select wherever it is that I wanna insert something and then start typing. So if I say subscribe to the channel, I can simply type that just like this, subscribe to the channel, and then there you go, that is now inserted right here. Let's say that I wanna change this right here. I can simply copy it. I can then remove it. And then let's say I wanna add that part in this scene, I can copy it right here. And you can do that for the entire part of your video. So changing or removing the script or anything regarding the script, go to edit script and simply do it manually through here or simply tell what to do in the command box. So once again, very good to see from NVIDIA AI that they've made it available to do that so that you can customize it to your liking. Another external option is to use ChatGPT to write parts of the script or the entire script for you. Let's say that I don't like what NVIDIA Video AI did about the number 10 of city, Rochester, Minnesota. What I can do is ask ChatGPT to write it. For example, write a 200 word script about Rochester, include how cold it is and what life is like over there. ChatGPT will then write that script for me. I can then copy that and then insert it into NVIDIA AI. There we go, that is now done. Let me copy that, go into NVIDIA AI, go to edit, edit script. And then this is the part from Rochester. So what I can now do is simply delete these scenes. There we go. And then I can paste the part from ChatGPT, then click apply changes. And then there we go. It's now gonna add that script to our entire video and find the scenes that go along with it. So there's many ways to go about creating a video and getting it done with NVIDIA AI. But as you can see, none of them require too much work from your side. As we can see, that is now done, which is a perfect time for me to explain the other buttons in the NVIDIA AI editor. So on the left-hand side, you've got regenerate. Let's say that the first result or the current result that you've gotten to, you don't like, and you wanna give it another try, you can click regenerate and NVIDIA AI will once again make your video, but then different. I'll demonstrate how that works. So if I click regenerate right here, click on this button right there, you can change this in case you want. So let's say I wanna change general public to travel enthusiasts to see if the video comes out any better, as well as to clean and then stay with YouTube, then click continue. Once again, in video AI, is now gonna make another version of that video with the exact same prompt for me. Then we've got the undo and redo buttons, which are right here. So let's say that you just did something that you would like to undo because it wasn't what you were trying to do in the first place. You can click on the arrow right here and it will then go back to the previous version. So if you made some mistake, simply know that that button exists, but then also you've got the redo button. So if you click here, once again, it will go back to the current version that you've got. Now, before I show you how you can clone your voice so that you can use it in any video on NVIDIA AI, I also want you to know that there's the export button right here, which is where you can export this project to the timeline editor, which is currently in experimental phase, as you can see right here. But this kind of looks more like a classic editor as you would know it. So in case you like the layout like this a little bit more, do know that you can edit your video with this. However, I still recommend the normal layout because it's more focused on getting it done with AI. But just know that this is indeed an option. Let me now show you, before I show you a final end result of a video that you can generate, how to clone your voice so that you can use that voice forever and apply it to any video that you'd like to make from now on about any topic. In order to do that, click on these three lines right here, go to voices, and then from here, you can clone your voice. You can see that I already did this about 41 days ago. For you, it will be blank, so you would need to click on add voice right here. From there on, it's actually pretty simple. So you need to submit a recording of at least 30 seconds. Within that file, you need to mention the following sentence, which you can find right here. Simply read out loud that sentence in the file, pause in between sentences like you normally would, and preferably use high quality recording equipment. So simply upload that file right here. It will then upload your file. Simply tick all of these boxes, assuming that this is correct. 
click my sample looks good. And then as you can see, they're now going to generate your own cloned voiceover, which is pretty insane. Once that is done, you can give this voiceover a name. And this is actually really important because the name that you use right here is what you should be using in your prompts when you want to apply that voiceover. So just like my voice right here is called Yuri. If I then get any future videos done, I can say use Yuri's voice. So you want to use the name from that voiceover right here in case you want to apply it to your video. And that's how easy it is to clone a voice with NVIDIA AI. Now, the fact that you can clone your voice is also great for monetization, because as you can see, channels like this are monetized, but the voiceovers are from themselves. However, nowadays, there's a lot of AI voiceovers available. So if you were to use any AI voiceover, but other people are also using that voice over and over again, that could get you in trouble with YouTube monetization. Whereas right now with NVIDIA AI, I can simply tell it to use Yuri's voice, which is my own voice, which means that no one else has access to this voice because it is mine. It is my unique voice, which means I cannot get into trouble with YouTube monetization because I'm not using any robot voice. It's just my own voice, but it happened to be cloned. So I'm quickly going to apply my own voice to this video once again, and then I can show you how to download the video. It's actually pretty simple. You click export right here and then click export video. Now, depending on the plan you've got on NVIDIA AI, you either have watermarks or you don't, and you can either get it in the highest resolution or you don't. Now I've got a pay plan on NVIDIA AI, which allows me to download this video in the highest quality possible without any watermarks. There you go. You click on export. And then as of right now, the video is exporting. As soon as that is done, I can click download right here, which will download it to my local device. In the meantime, allow me to give you my personal opinion on NVIDIA AI. If we take a look at the pricing, you can get started with NVIDIA AI for as low as just $20 per month, which honestly is insanely cheap. If you take a look at what it can do for you, you can tell it which video to make and it will actually create that entire video for you, which is insane. So as for the pricing, yes, it is definitely worth the price. As for the software itself, let me tell you what I think. The fact that right now you can simply tell it what kind of video to create and it will actually do that is insane. For example, I just created this video about the 10 coldest cities in the USA, which has my voice, yet I didn't write the script, I didn't do the voiceover for that video. I didn't find the actual videos in the video, yet still I got a full video done. So the fact that it can do that is absolutely insane. So yes, I do heavily recommend getting started with NVIDIA AI if you want to get videos done quickly, easily, and at great quality. I will leave a link for you in the description down below to try this out for free. Once again, if you want higher quality videos done, I recommend taking a paid plan which starts as low as just $20 a month. With all of that being said, here's the final video that I generated with NVIDIA AI. Have you ever wondered where the coldest cities in the USA are? Well, ponder no more. Today, we're embarking on a frosty journey to explore the chilliest corners of America, from the snowy landscapes of Alaska to the icy plains of North Dakota. We'll venture through 10 of the coldest cities no, not just for their winter wonderland aesthetics, but for temperatures that may make even the most seasoned winter enthusiast shudder. We'll start our journey in Fairbanks, Alaska, a city known for its extreme cold, with record lows reaching a frosty negative 66 degrees Fahrenheit. 